So hello friends, in today's video, we will discuss about comparison between CMD44 and enhanced CMD44 100 gigahertz. Means the channel spacing between these uh, modules are 100 gigahertz and that is fetched. So this is the CMD44 and this is the enhanced CMD44 block diagram. You can see here the CMD44 100 gigahertz and enhanced CMD44 100 gigahertz. This is the PEC code, PEC code of and CMD 4400 gigahertz is NTT 862 AAE5 and the PEC code of enhanced CMD 4400 gigahertz is NTT 862 FAE5. So let's start. So first we will discuss about the similarity between the CMD 4400 gigahertz and enhanced CMD 4400 gigahertz. So what is CMD44 and what is enhanced CMD44? Both are the modules which are used to multiplacing up to 44 optical DWDM channel into a signal fiber pair. And these modules are used for both rodents and WSF based terminal. It's C-band, it means 44 channel max DMAX CMD44, 100 gigahertz C-band module. It means it can support the C-band frequencies. Two variants of CMD44 100 gigahertz modules are variable. The first one is CMD44 100 gigahertz, and the second one is the enhanced CMD44 100 gigahertz. You can see here this is the uh, PEC code for 44 channel max CMD44 100 gigahertz, and this is for the ECMD44 enhanced CMD44. This is the PEC code for ECMD44. The CMD44 100 gigahertz modules are the passive modules and therefore do not require DC power. The operation of these two modules does not require any DC power or AC power. This is totally passive devices. Both CMD44 100 gigahertz variants offer the same functionality. Uh, you can see these both 44 channel max DMAX CMD44 and ECMD44 100 gigahertz both provide the same functionality but the ECMD44 enhanced CMD44 variant also includes a one-way optical isolator on the common input and you can say this is the bigger or uh, this is the uh, difference between these two we will discuss in details in next slide the CMD44 100 giga module has 200 gigahertz temperature stable AWG Optical Max DMAX module. It means two AWG, one for multiplexing and one for demultiplexing. The channels on the CMD44 100 gigahertz modules have 100% add drop facility at each end, which are, it means uh, the CMD44 and enhanced CMD44. Both modules provide uh, the 44 channels to be added or dropped. This is the functionality provided by these two modules. The combination of WSS and CMD44 100 giga modules at Rodum or WSS based terminal site is required to perform add drop functions, add drop operations. Means if we if you are want if you if you want to add any channel to the DWDM system or drop any uh, channel from the DWDM system, so WSS and CMD44, the combination of these two are devices required. The CMD44 100 gigahertz modules has no variable at in uh, uh, as the same like CMD44 and enhanced CMD44 50 gigahertz. This is no VOA. Optimization is carried out through the WSS. So if you want to see any uh, power level or you want to optimize any channel's power or you want to reset profile or anything, you need to do that configuration on the WSS. So now we will see the difference between CMD44 100 gigahertz and enhanced CMD44 100 gigahertz. So this is the block diagram on left hand side you can see the block diagram of CMD44 100 gigahertz and on right hand side you can see the block diagram of enhanced CMD44 100 gigahertz. So can you find out the difference? Yes. This is the difference. There is an isolator in enhanced CMD44 100 gigahertz at the common input but in CMD44 100 gigahertz there is no any isolator. So what is the use of this isolator? Isolator is stop the counter propagation power from reaching the amplifier. So what happens? Suppose one channel whose input power input is connected to channel number one means port number one and channel out is connected to port number two. Suppose there is a transponder whose TX and RX is connected to. So the TX of the transponder will connect 
to channel in channel one in means port number one and the rx of the transponder will connect to the channel one out or the port number two but what happens if someone by mistake connect the transponder tx port to this channel one out or port number two so when the tx of the transponder is connected to this port the power is transmitted from the transponder is flowing through this fiber for uh, inbuilt fiber or you can say on this port and reverse back to the common input this will propagate through reverse in the reverse direction in common input so what happens when any power is reflected uh, propagating back to the common input so what happens when the power is propagating back to the common input the reflection will occur the reflection will increase on the connected port so the amplifier basically this port is common port is connected to the amplifier or uh, so what happens the ORL value decreases and the APR is active and the port may be shut down the amplifier port may be and it will affect the traffic of all these channels so to prevent this uh, occurrence or this incident this isolator is used you can say when a when a user accidentally misconnect the TX and RX signal from the service equipment to the CMD44 CH in and CH out ports, the output power from the TX of the transponder goes into the CH output port. Means the output power of the TX means transponder power. Where that power goes, CH output port means this CH output port of the DMUX port. So uh, in previous slide, we have discussed there, there are two AWG. So one for the DMUX AWG and one for the MUX AWG array, array waveguide. This power may flow towards the common input. So what happens this the, the TX transponder power will flow towards the common in power of the DMUX module. When the power flows from channel in out port towards common in port, it flows toward line A out of the amplifier port, which increase the reflect power towards line A port and hence the ORL value decreases and the APR active on this port. So you can see this ORL value uh, you can calculate from this formula 10 log 10 PI upon PR incident power and reflected power. When in, in, when in the system an APR state, uh, when in a system uh, the amplifier is in APR state, the amplifier total output power is reduced plus 3 dB for safety purpose and this reduction in the power can lead to the traffic loss on all drop channels carried by the CMD44 attached. So this the this isolator is very important and this is very important feature of the enhanced CMD44. This allows the amplifier reflection monitor to perform its normal uh, this allows the amplifier reflection monitor to perform its function of measuring return loss to help identify any dirt or misconnected patch cord. Thank you.